Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Paul. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. You know, today great. we're gonna really, you know, inform our, our customers as to you know what it takes to truly adjust this for themselves. So. Yes, sir. So you get your trike. Yeah. Everything's dandy. Um, you know, this is a this is a prime example of how a trike here, a Utah trikes, get set up when we adjust the boom and everything like that. Now, um, you know, we get customers X seams and height. Uh, and we try to adjust the boom as, as close as we can, but without the customer here, you know, it's hard to get it perfect. Yeah. So um, you may have to end up adjusting your chain. So that's what we're going to cover today. Um, so like I said, this is a prime example of, of what the derailleur looks like when it's properly set up. Um, so, you know, that gives you a good idea of, of what to look for and everything like that. Um, now again, you know, should you get your trike and, and let's say the boom's a little too long for you. So of course, you're gonna move that in. Now that will cause the chain to become essentially too long and we'll need to make an adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that boom and uh, you know replicate this issue that a customer might have. Um, and again, it's, it's worth uh, putting out there that currently the chain is set on the two smallest rings. Um, Slide that in and you'll see the derailleur start to kind of angle back and upwards. All right. So um, you'll see there is uh, contact uh, here with the chain and the jockey wheel there. And the angle of the derailleur is it's starting to point upwards. Um, so this is, this is going to be an indicator that the, uh, that the chain's too long. And again, you know, we've now got slack in either side of the chain. So we'll, uh, we'll show you how to solve this issue and, and get the chain set uh, properly um, if you've moved the boom in. So with the, um, with pretty much all of the trikes, you know, with the exception of, of very few models, uh, they're always gonna have a master link here. And you can tell that because it's got the slot. Um, what that allows you to do is disconnect the chain at these two ends very easily. So, uh, again, eight and nine speed you can usually do by hand. Ten speed is very stiff, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Park Tool MLP1 Master Link pliers. Just pull those together. There it is, pretty easy. And that just pops right out. Yep. So, um, again, you know, the chain's too long right now, so we're gonna, we're gonna go for cutting a, a couple links out. Um, now I've got a Park CT3 um, chain tool, and this is the, the big one that we use here at the shop, but there are all sorts of different um, chain cutters, and you know, there, there's a lot that work well. So, what you wanna do is, is again, just kind of replicate what we saw before, you know, that, that clearance between the derailleur and, uh, and the chain. So, measure that up here with uh, the two ends of the chain. And just go like that. Now on this one, it doesn't look like we need to cut out much, but uh, essentially what I'm doing is matching up two ends to see where, where I need to cut the chain. So it looks like this link right here will do it. So, I'll get my chain tool here, rest it in there, and press the pin out. master link back in position. Now these master links are reusable, um, so you can disconnect them, reconnect them pretty much as, mu uh, as many times as you want. Um, I'd say if you disconnect and reconnect more than about 10 or 15 times, you might want to consider a new link. But they are very strong. Um, now we've got the, the pin seated in the slots, but it's not quite seated correctly. So, you know, just the, the little gap there is a little bit too small. 
Um, so what I usually do is take the master link pliers, uh, gla grab one half of the link, and just press down and, and get that link to seat. And check our chain here. We've got a little bit of a, a bigger gap than, than is perfect, but uh, that's totally usable. Wonderful. So, Matt, it sounds like we've gotten that taken care of, you know, pushing the boom in, mm -hmm. getting it all sized up. What if it arrives to me and it's just a little too small and I need to push the boom out? Okay. Is it any oh, yeah. different? Uh, it's a little different. Um, so this one, we just used that existing master link that was in the chain. Um, let's go ahead and move the boom out. And, and before we do that, we'll shift it into two large rings. Um, this... Pretty important. Yeah, so basically it's going to tell you, you know, where the chain is, is too short. Um, get it adjusted here. All right, biggest ring. There we go. Ooh. All right. So that's as far as we can go. You know, there's a little a little slack in the derailleur still, um, but basically we're we're about maxed out on that there. So. We'll get back into our small rings since we need a little bit more, uh, we just need a little bit more length there. So get it set to the position we'd like. All right. So now we know for a fact that our boom is going to be, or our chain is too short for the distance that our boom is set at. Yeah. So we're going to go back to the master link here, get our master link pliers, go ahead and disconnect that. Uh, so the difference here, obviously, is that we're going to be um, putting more chain into the system. And uh, we're going to be using a second master link as well. So to start off with, we'll take our additional chain. Now we're going to be slicing in here, and I've got way more than we need, but uh, we can work with it. All right. So now that we have our um, extra length added in here, again, just using one of those master links, we're going to grab each end of the chain, kind of like last time. We're going to pull that derailleur into a position that we like. All right. And that's going to give us the adequate quick clearance on the derailleur and allow us to use all gear combinations possible. Um, so we'll go ahead and cut this link out. That. Grab our additional master link here. All right. Oops. Wrong link. There we are. Just a little clearance there. You're good to go. It's easy as that? It's easy as that. It's a little time consuming, takes a couple tools, but you know, having the right setup and the right equipment, I mean, that's gonna be the difference of ripping off your, right. your rear derailleur and costing you a whole bunch of money or, you know, having the trike set up properly. No, it's, it's really easy and I mean, 
you know, we're obviously a resource. So should mm -hmm. they have any questions, I'm sure they can call. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Matt.